Welcome Sagittarius. We're going to look at what it is that you need guidance with. Okay, using the Avalon Magic cards, the Wild Child Oracle cards, and this deck of cards that I do not have the name for. And uh, yeah, so they were given to me a number of years ago and I no longer have the book, so I can't remember the name of them. Anyway, so we're using those, okay? Um, if this does not resonate with you, go and have a look at other placements of your birth chart, okay? That may help you. And whenever you find this reading is when the time is right for you. There is no time stamps on this reading, so yeah. Date stamps, I should say. Okay, so three cards for Sagittarius, please. Almost, not quite. Three cards for Sagittarius. One, we have one here. These cards have um, the pictures on the front and writing on the back. So I'll look at the pictures, see what I get from that, and then read the writing. And they don't often coincide with what, um, you know, the writing doesn't often coincide with what I'm getting. So it's great because it brings through more messages for you. So two more cards for Sagittarius, please. There we go. That's what we want. Okay. So this is the first card here. Mm, interesting. Okay. Okay, so, so much going on here. There's something about um, a new beginning. There's um, a lot of growth, I feel. There's a lot of growth. Um, potentially that may have already happened or is going to happen, okay? And there's this sort of like, a new beginning in no that's not right I feel like you're opening up to your higher self and this could be a new um, connection with your higher self that is about to take form okay so yeah wow this is a cool card. Anyway, I haven't had this card out before, so I haven't really seen it. <laughs> um, what does this say? Access your deep feminine intuition and allow new possibilities to flow. Love that. Yeah, because this is this is more than just, say, like tapping into your intuition. This is definitely deeper than this. I love that. Okay, so give me two cards for this card for Sagittarius, please. Two cards for that card for Sagittarius. Look, let's look further into us. Wow. That's not the right card. Okay, there it is. Okay, so first card out here is the tree remembers. I don't know the second card because it is upside down. Um, so the tree remembers. Yeah, you know how a tree grows and it remembers like it has the rings on it to show each cycle. Um, and I feel like this is your soul, your soul remembering. I feel like this is where um, this deep feminine intuition is going to give you information from your soul. It's going to remember things that um, this is really like powerful. Honestly, I, wow. Can I have two cards for the tree remembers for Sagittarius, please? Okay, so this is, these are the hard times that you've been through. The tree remembers. There's something that has happened for you, Sagittarius. Where you've been, you've felt shut out in the cold, and it's really been. Um, I feel like maybe some of you may be feeling quite um, down at the moment. But the thing is that it's kind of like 
there's things in life that are happening at the moment or have happened take your focus away from the truth of you yeah and it's kind of like I feel like this is saying to not let things in life distract you and I it's really tricky because I don't want to minimize anything that you've been through or that you have endured because I can see here with this when I said to you there's been a lot of growth in your life that growth hasn't necessarily been easy you know it's um it's taken a lot out of you is what I want to say and For some of you, you may feel the light that blocks you from accessing your deep feminine intuition. But that never goes. It never goes. It's actually, I suppose, believing that it's blocking you is what the block is. Because the tree remembers it's there. It's right there for you to access Okay, so not focusing on things that have happened in the past, not dwelling on those things, not still being in there, that energy is going to help you to access this intuition, okay, this deep intuition, this wisdom that you actually possess, okay. We have idleness, yeah, going slow, taking your time, right, um, and, and it may feel like things have been going slowly for you. Um, and I want to say, you know, this may be something that you want to tap into like immediately, but there's the need to um, take your time with it. Because if you were given all the information at once, it will be overwhelming and no one could cope with that. Okay, so it is step by step by step. Okay, and um, I think the patience is required for you to tap into this to access this because a tree goes through these cycles and it doesn't you know it doesn't grow to this it started from a seed yeah and it's taken years upon years and even decades you know to get to that to get to that um height and that level Okay, so one more card for idleness for Sagittarius, please. I've had one card jump out here and I'm not sure whether to take it. Got two cards jump out here. I'm going to take it. What is it? Okay. Wow. Wow. Sagittarius, like... really interesting because at the beginning before I turn the camera on I you know do prep and I ask for um to connect with the higher selves and the energy of those who will see this video okay so whoever is watching this video I take my hat off to you because holy moly you are one heck of a um being so thank you um, anyway, so we have the Empress here, okay, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have Strength, and um, I feel like the Empress is, this is your energy, okay, this is the energy that you have, that you can sit in, alright, this here, this energy here compared to this, there's no comparison realistically, Okay, this energy is so much more powerful and this is who you are, Sagittarius. Going back over and over and over this is, is not allowing this Empress who you truly are. And even if you're a male, it doesn't matter. Please don't put too much weight on the gender. It is about the energy and the power behind the energy that matters here. Okay, so... <sighs> You know, this is what you have there to step into, okay? Um, I feel like you're trying to juggle um, 
so much in your life that it um it kind of thwarts you from being able to step into this it's like always these distractions and it's kind of like you go to um you know work on this energy and make this connection with your you know this deep intuition and then life throws stuff at you and it, it gets difficult for you to do that um you know, I can see here that the strength that has taken you to even get to this point in your life has been tremendous. And I'm, I actually feel really proud of you for what you have come through and what you have achieved so far. Even if you feel like you haven't really achieved anything in your life, surviving it is a massive achievement. Huge Okay, I feel like achievement is an understatement, actually. So, yeah, you know, this, it also, I want to say, is, is this is also about this patience here, right? Because to tame a lion, it takes, it requires hard work, it requires patience, you know, it requires courage, you know. So, um, yeah, wow, Sagittarius, this is pretty powerful. Okay, we have this card here. Um, let's see what I get from this. It's this energy of feeling kind of like you have no one. Feeling alone. For some of you, your pets are your best friends. Um, yeah. Let's have a read of it. Surrender yourself to the flow of life and see how you can influence your future. Keep moving forward and your life's purpose will manifest perfect. I love that. 100% Sagittarius, yes. Okay, so two cards for this card for Sagittarius, please. Surrender yourself to the flow of life and see how you can influence your future. Keep moving forward. And your life's purpose will manifest. Beautiful. Yes, shelter. See, this is you taking shelter. And also, you know, building up for those hard times in a sense, you know, or like this squirrel here, it's autumn. And, you know, the squirrel has been out gathering its sources, its food sources to get it through the winter. And it's kind of like that's sort of like, Feel like maybe what you've been doing like you've all the hardship on all the hard times that you've been through have kind of like with maybe without you being aware have been to gather up these tools and these resources to help you when this when you access this deep feminine intuition um and again don't put weight on the feminine Okay, this could be masculine if you're masculine. Well, no, it's the feminine side. It is the feminine side because this is a lot more gentle. So if you are a um, a male watching this, it's okay to tap into the feminine intuition. Okay, um, because this is this emperor's power. Yeah, because you've already got, you've got your male side down packed, you know. Um, but yeah, this is this intuition that... Um, is from the feminine okay so yeah um let's have a look here two cards for shelter for sagittarius please two cards for shelter for sag here it is these cards are going all over the shop here okay right mm -hmm. okay so after this ten of swords here this is the absolute death of something, right? And it may have even felt like, you know, it may have even felt like the death of you, in a sense, or a part of you, okay? This could be, um, you know, you taking the shelter to heal from this Ten of Swords, okay? Um, and um, we also have the Fool here. So this is this new beginning. So kind of like taking the shelter 
because the Ten of Swords, I feel like in this scenario, um, is kind of like you've been through this, okay, um, and you're taking shelter until the storm passes, ready to embark upon this new beginning, yeah? Yeah, and then after that, the sun comes out, and look at what happens here. You know, this is this is full of, you know, brightness and positivity. This reminds me of the sun card here, and, um, and this is what is waiting for you, right? When you surrender yourself to the flow of life. And see how you can influence your future. I love this because this is your future. This is what awaits you. Okay, so let's have a look. Two cards for our door, please. Oh, there they are. Just like that. Okay, five of swords. Yep, this is, you know, this is this internal battle that is going on here. Um, and I feel like the fight has been fought. Um, and with the... Ten of Swords, it may be that, you know, you didn't win that fight, but um, it's, it's I suppose, the, um, it's not really about that, and I wonder if that's what you're focusing on, that maybe you didn't win that fight, um, but the thing is, it what, what really matters is not that, what matters is, is the, um, the, the journey, the, the soul path, of your life right this was just a a blip in that journey it may not have felt like just a blip but i don't mean to say that to minimize it you know um because it really there have been things that have really absolutely taken you down in a big big way um but the thing is here what's important is that you keep on going okay we have the prince of hearts here and um, I feel like this is you learning to love yourself, okay, you learning to, you know, fill your cup with the, all the good stuff, um, trying different things out and seeing what works for you, okay, but the Prince of Hearts is such a, a lighter energy here, and um, and this could be someone coming in to help you, you know, um, to help you carry that burden, right, that you have been carrying all on your own. Okay, so let's have a look at the next card here, Sagittarius. This is wisdom, man. This is wisdom. Reminds me of kind of like the Hierophant and the Hermit mixed together in a sense. But again, these, these two cards, look at this. All right, look at this. There's such wisdom here. Wow. Okay, your life le lessons will be repeated until they are learnt. Guidance is on the way. Love that. Especially with the Prince of Hearts coming in here. Guidance is on the way. And this, you know, may very well be this deep feminine intuition that is there, ready for you to access, right? Okay, so two cards for this card. For Sagittarius, please. Your life lessons will be repeated and all they are learned. Guidance is on the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I get you. Okay. So, yeah. Look. This is about you, Sagittarius. Being aware of what you are planting in your garden, in your inner garden. What's going on inside of you, right? This here is not serving you. Okay, this here is going to serve you. Okay, because there's been so much focus on this, on this, on this. Okay, this, this, and this is being blocked from coming through. Yeah. So it is a matter of you really considering what am I planting within me what do I want to grow because do you really want more of this is this what you want okay so it's learning to do things differently learning the lessons that these have brought you because there are lessons in them 
okay and um and making the choice right making the choice as to what you want to now grow okay because um it is all in your power right we are the creators of our own reality so what do you want that reality to look like and you know the thing is that you may have tried that and it hasn't worked out but it's about what's going on in here yeah what is this record that's playing in your mind this is the big thing okay so two cards for inner garden for Sagittarius please two cards for inner garden for Sagittarius yeah yeah I love this princess of hearts is here as well so this is you learning to um again to love yourself okay but understanding i suppose because we have the seven of um, pentacles here but understanding that you learning to love yourself is going to be the difference between this here being full and lush like this tree right because this tree hasn't grown like this by beating itself up and telling itself it's useless and telling itself that it can never achieve anything you know, this tree has grown into this energy of power, which is what I get from this tree, that, you know, these children stand beneath it and adore it um, and look up to it and go to it for its energy and its wisdom that it has learned along the way, which you do have. You have this wisdom that, you know, can be tapped into because of everything you have been through. It depends on how you want to use it though you know um, you can use it to help others along their way or you can use it to bring forth okay this is the lesson that I learned and, and what am I doing with that what am I using that for yeah and stand in that strength stand in that power okay um, so yeah the seven of pentacles here is so much different you know looking at what have you been growing along the way you know what has been planted internally that has caused this to only just grow pentacles and nothing else okay looking at your life not everything is about money okay and i know that that can be really hard when we have no money it can feel like everything's about money because they may not it may not feel like there's enough okay but the more you stay in that energy and and this is only an example so apply this to anything in your life <clears throat> but when you stay in that energy of there not being enough there will always never be enough okay when you <clears throat> excuse me when you get to this energy of you know kind of like going more general like I'm always taken care of, I am always taken care of, and sit in that energy with pure belief, okay, because remember, it's the vibration that, you know, the universe responds to, then you're going to get that back, and, and the thing is, it takes time, it takes practice, okay, it's something you need to continuously be aware of, okay, so, um, yeah, this is this is definitely something that needs some work here, Sagittarius. Okay, and it needs constant work. It needs your constant attention, and um, and you will begin to see the results. Okay, so the next card we have here is Beehive. Yeah, you see, Sagittarius. Even though it may feel like you're alone. There's a beehive of bees here willing to help you, okay? But for some of you, you feel like you have to do it all on your own. And, you know, maybe that partly is because you don't believe anyone else can do it like you. <laughs> um, so that could be something you need to, you know, surrender and let go of, okay? Um, but, yeah, there's... there's um, this is doing the hard work to create what it is that you want to create, you know, because the bees don't um, have a hive full of honey 
by sitting around and feeling sorry for themselves. And I don't mean that to be harsh on you, but it's what's coming through. Okay, so they go out and they work. They work for what they want. They fly for miles until they get exactly what it is that um, they need to fill their hive with nutrient honey. Okay, and it's the same with this in a garden here. You do what you need to do to get this garden to grow. And if the first time it doesn't work out and it's not that, that luscious, then you do it again. You know, you go, okay, you've got some growth. You know, remember, there's always growth. Okay, so, but it's it's having the growth of, of you know, something that is going to serve you in the long term. Okay, so two cards for Beehive for Sagittarius, please. Tell me more about Beehive for Sagittarius. Okay, so we've got the King of Pentacles here. Oh, I love this. Yeah, from the Seven of Pentacles to the King. This is what you can achieve, right? Um, because the King, he knows um, exactly what he needs to do to make this garden grow luscious, full of not only Pentacles, but the leaves, the flowers, the fruit, the veggies, everything that he needs to sustain his kingdom. He does. He knows how to invest his money. He knows what he is doing, okay, because he's learnt along the way. And do you know how he's learned? He's learnt from his mistakes. He's taken his life lessons and he's applied them to his life and done things differently. So he doesn't have to repeat them, okay? So the King of Pentacles may also be someone who is um, in your life um, or coming your way to assist you, okay? Um... We've got the Two of Swords here as well. And this is kind of like getting out of your own way, I feel, right? And um, really allowing yourself to um, to make the changes that you need to have a, a new beginning in your life, which is going to be more rewarding. The Four of Swords also came out here. Um, and this, again, is going back to, you know, you... Oh, did I say that before about you taking the time? Oh, yeah, taking the time that you need um, to rest and rejuvenate because this is the thing, right? The king, and no matter which um, element it is in the in the tarot, the king always knows what's the best thing to do. Time to rest, time to work, you know, time to work internally, all these things. So in that regard, I feel like this is what this um, accessing your deep intuition, feminine intuition will allow you to um, be aware of um, when you do need to rest, when you need that R&R. &R. Yeah, because, um, yeah, I just kind of like, it's really time because like I said at the beginning, you are a very powerful being. Um, with this internal power, with this wisdom um, that can be brought forth into the world. It's a matter of not holding yourself back with all this stinking thinking and with, um, you know, focusing on the things that haven't worked out and really going forward towards the things that will work out. Okay, to have the knowing, not the hope, but the knowing that it's going to work and you keep going until it does, Yeah just like the bees in the hive, okay? And if that doesn't work out in that hive, then they go somewhere else and find somewhere that is going to work, right? So, yeah. Okay, so Sagittarius, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.